Chuck. No, 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 no. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today is a Better Call Saul day and we are, can't believe it, but we're on season three, episode 10. So this is the last episode of season three and yeah, that's pretty crazy. Uh, this one is called Lantern. So if you have not watched the last episode, please click right up here, watch that one, and then come back and watch this one with me. Um, last episode ended uh, crazy. Well, maybe not crazy, but I was not expecting it. I was, <laughs> I was not expecting last episode, how it ended at all. So anyway, um, go check it out if you haven't yet. And other than that, yeah, let's just get started. I'm excited to jump right in. I don't want to waste any time. I'm really curious how they are going to end uh, season three. So yeah, this is going to be very interesting. If you would like to watch these episodes or any of the other stuff I watch with me in full without cuts or edits or anything, you can do that over on my Patreon. Just click the link below and uh, take a look. Uh, we also have Patreon only shows over there and lots of other stuff. So if you're interested, go take a look. I always appreciate the support and that is the best way to support me if you're able to. It's always appreciated, of course. And if you're not able to um, support me over on Patreon, that's perfectly understandable, my friends. Please just make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and watch my videos. Hey, that's all I ask for, please. <laughs> Other than that, uh, yeah, let's get started. So grab your coffee, grab your water. Hello, Oreo, you wanna be in the video, Oreo? Grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your water, um, snacks if you guys are going to have snacks. And I guess my cats are gonna hang out for this, uh, this video. And um, that's it. Let's go friends. Cheers. Oh, oh is this Chuck and Jimmy when they were kids? Cause they're reading Mabel. The poor thing had lost their way. Is she gonna be okay? She'll be fine, Jimmy. How do you know? It was so dark that she stumbled into the bushes. Huh, lantern. Lantern, there you go. Oh, Kim. God, she looks like shizzle sticks. Did she break her arm? Could have been worse though. It could have been worse. Oh God, all her stuff. Oh my God, there's so much. Okay. What's Chuck gonna do? I know we all want a swift resolution here. So what are our options? Take it to trial. Expensive. The firm could choose to buy me out for an amount that is almost certain to bankrupt it. I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. I think we can settle all this right now with a simple handshake. Is Howard not backing down? All those years, we built this place together. And all that time, I've supported you. Not anymore. I mildly suggest, with empathy and concern, that maybe it's time for you to consider retirement. The first instinct you have is to sue me? In what world is that anything but the deepest betrayal of our friendship? Howard, I could argue that you're the one who betrayed me. That's bullshit. Here, just take this. 
$3 million. The firm can't afford this. This is mostly for my personal funds. Oh, and boy. Loans. You're paying me out of your own pocket. You won. He really doesn't want him to work there that bad. Why? I'm sorry to say, but our fearless leader, Charles McGill, will be leaving HHM, effective immediately. We will be forever grateful for his dedication. Do you have anything you want to say? <laughs> Lots of stuff, I'm sure. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that, uh, Howard just switched so fast. It seems like that he didn't want him to, he was all on his side. And then he just like, because of that insurance stuff, he was just like, nope. And because of Chuck making some questionable decisions, I don't know. To me, it just felt kind of quick, but maybe not. Now what Chuck's going to do? What's he going to do? Now he's retired, basically. Like, his... That was his whole world, right? It was working. I'm assuming... This one-handed crap is She be real old, real lost fast. the Texas case, but I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Is there coffee? Is there coffee? There's always coffee at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I could have killed someone, Jimmy. Yeah, yourself. Someone or yourself. I crossed three lanes of traffic and I don't remember any of it. <sighs> I'm an adult. I made a choice. She's not going to go to jail, is she? I just thought of that. For falling asleep at the wheel and causing a wreck? No, I don't think so. Shoot, I hope not. Oh boy. Well, he's still uh he's still kicking for now. Okay, so we're gonna do everything around back. Oh no, they're at his dad's place. We pull the trucks up to the doors, we're gonna load right into mm. the shop. This is not good. Everything is clear. Here's Papi. Oh no, oh no. Don Hector, este es mi papá Manuel, papá. Don Hector Salamanca. Relájate. Somos amigos. Mejor. ¿Mm? Vaya a ser mi taller. Mi papá, por favor. Don Hector is very generous. No sea así respetuoso. Don't do anything stupid, Papa. He warned you about this, remember? La familia de mamá en Galeana. Just deal with it for a few weeks. Hopefully Nacho will take care of it. And then you'll be good to go. Poor guy. He's old fashioned, he'll come around. I don't trust uh -oh. him. Oh. That's not good. You brought the book? <laughs> um, sure. Is she getting right back to work? Of course she is. Kim, Kim, Kim. Mr. Gatwood, the card wasn't clear, but I'm pretty sure you're getting stakes too. <laughs> oh, so maybe she didn't lose the deal. That's good. I hope she didn't. You are so lucky. People die on that road all the time. Don't think that's making her feel better. <laughs> and there's still a lot of prep that we push, so you could focus on getting Mr. Gatwood up by the end of the quarter. Did you bring a breakdown of the documents I'll need for next Wednesday? I would, I would have to figure out. Yep. 
how long that'll take me. <clears throat> What's wrong? Go. And Paige's timeline's on the top. I'm gonna need you to cancel, Gatwood. Oh. And push everything else. Okay. Is but she first, deciding to rest or something? Miss Wexler sends her apologies, Mr. Gatwood. Just not gonna be able to finish her work for you in time. Um, Ms. Wexler did ask me to tell you she strongly recommends Swikart and Copley. Okay. So she's giving up the case and watching some blockbuster videos. I love it. Thanks for the meet. Uh, and, and she says thank you for the steaks. This is she's so, so funny. Excited to fire up that How grill. is there still a blockbuster? Like all of them, as far as I know, are kaput. Man, I miss blockbuster though. Any video store. Like, where I grew up, we had a local one, which is still there, believe it or not. It's a small town. So whenever I go back, I go, I don't write any videos, but they also have a cafe, so I go and get a coffee. I think they're all DVDs now, actually. Anyway, that's not the point. But, <clears throat> yeah, I miss that, and um, Blockbuster. Good times. Good times, my friends. Going to Chuck's. Why is he going to Chuck's? I know you don't want to see me, but uh, I just want to know. Oh, okay. checking on him. I wonder if he, he's going to tell him about Kim. Come on, Chuck. Just need a minute. I just need to know you're all right. I'm all right, Jimmy. He doesn't want to sublet to Chuck, does he? No. Does he know that Chuck got fired? Or I guess bought out, but fired, essentially. Oh, he doesn't even know that he's been working on his, um, his mental disorder, does he? His condition, as he calls it. <laughs> he's, like, shocked. <laughs> as you can see, I'm more than all right. I'm very well, in fact. I always told you I'd get better. You just never believed me. How did you do it? What was it you wanted? beyond proof of life. Well, I think one thing that helped is Jimmy stopped doing everything for him. I wanted to say in hindsight, I could have made different choices. Is that so? Yeah. If I had to do it all over again, I would maybe do some things differently. I have regrets. Hmm. Why? Because <laughs> you're my brother. Why have regrets at all? What's the point? What do you mean? Well, look at you. You're in so much pain. Oh, boy. Why are you putting yourself through all this? You're just going to keep hurting people. That's not true. Jimmy, this is what you do. You hurt people over and over in the end, you're going to hurt everyone around you. You can't help it. So stop apologizing and accept it. Embrace it. <laughs> so he just wants him to go all out and be slipping Jimmy. Let me put your mind at ease, Jimmy. You don't have to make up with me. We don't have to understand each other. I don't want to hurt your feelings. But the truth is... You've never mattered all that much to me. Wow. Seriously? That was really harsh. Damn. Damn, Chuck. Poor Jimmy. Can you imagine if one of your, like, your brother, Go sister, parent said that to you? Chair. 
Brown Journal. You've never mattered that much to me. After Jimmy spent years taking care of him. Years. Now, does Chuck really mean that, or is he just still pissed off about what Jimmy did? He's not healed yet. What is all this? Well, when we win, we celebrate. <laughs> Are things better with Irene? I hope. Now, have you given any thought to how you want to spend that settlement money? Oh, did she not do it? Did she not settle? You're still upset. Oh, no. You can't let one little misunderstanding destroy years of friendship. She showed her true colors. Oh, when it came no. To that Look we what he did. Things from her mind. Jimmy, I knew this was going to happen. Hurting people around the, around him. Poor Irene. Jimmy, you have to tell them. Jimmy. I stuck my nose in where it didn't belong and I stirred the Yeah. Up. Yes, I've, I've shut off all the breakers. Yes, I have checked several times. Well, I, I want you to send someone over to find it and disconnect it. So now he's shutting all his power off? Wednesday. I can't wait that long. Wait, so he's gonna shut all his power off again? I was gonna say, does he have a basement? Could be somewhere in the basement. But why is he doing that? Man, I'm really confused on this episode. I thought he was getting better. Or was that just all a show for Jimmy too? I have a three o'clock with Dr. Cruz today. Yes, well, w w would you tell her that something's come up and I'm not able to come in today? Now he's not going to his doctor's appointment. <sighs> Is he just going to go back to being a, being a, um, what do you call, what do you call it? Not a homebody, but a shut-in? Is that what he's doing? He just kind of gave up. Is that why he told Jimmy that? So that he would finally, like, get Jimmy out of his life for Jimmy's sake? Or is he really just a douchebag? Because I didn't think he, would, he was that much of a douchebag. Complicated. Chuck's a very interesting character. Chuck, he's gonna destroy his house. He needs one of those, uh, what are those called? Those readers that detect electricity. My God. Oh God. Reminded me of this frickin' scene from um, The Shining. Did he find it? Nope. Still going. Chuck! I guess that'll do it. Nacho. Don't do anything stupid, Nacho. You just gotta wait. No, 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 no. Oh God. Oh God, don't tell me Nacho dies. No, Nacho. Oh my god, he's gonna he's gonna get him himself fucking killed. God, what is he doing? Nacho's gonna die. He's going to fucking die. This is so bad. Oh 
Who is that? Oh, it's them. They're coming. Who's coming? Oh, Gus. Oh, and Don Melario. No, that's not Don Melario. His guy. From now on. Bolsa? Is that Bolsa? There's one route over the border for our product. The chicken trucks. And that is final. Well, that takes care of Nacho's uh, problem. You have to work together. It's what the boss wants. The boss can suck me. Salamanca blood. You have to calm down. That I see and I pay for it. And you treat us like dogs. It is personal. Oh, here he goes. Is this it? Is down. Call 911. You should not be here when they arrive. Yeah. I need an ambulance. That took care of that. No te mueros, come on. I saw the garage at the corner of that. He has to get the pills. My boss collapsed. I think he's having a heart attack. Switch the pills back, Nacho. And was he taking any medications? He took these. He knows. Gus knows. He knows everything. Fuck. How's uh, Relaxathon 2003 <laughs> No complaints. Join me. We could just watch To Kill a Mockingbird <laughs> again. Again? Yeah, I watched it this morning. That's a good book. No, I wanted to be him. Fight the good fight, change the world. You do fight the yeah, good fight. Didn't you? That was more <laughs> Chuck's thing. No luck with Miss Landry. Oh, shoot, that bridge is burned. And I've tried everything. You haven't tried I everything. Muffin baskets to the gals. You have to tell them the truth. I'm not good tell at them the truth, you know, Jenny. Tell it them down. the truth. Oh, shit. What? What is it? <laughs> Mrs. Yeah. Audrey. You figure yep. it out? Tell the truth. He doesn't want to do it, though. But I really, really don't want it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Poor thing. Come on, Jimmy. You can do this. I mean, they're going to hate you, but you can do it. And cap. Oh. What is she doing there? I need to talk to you. You drastically misrepresented the reality of the case. You took advantage of poor Mrs. Landry. Oh, he's doing it that way. Uh, I worked my I ass see. off earning their trust. Then you betrayed it. Besides, not like she's got that much time left anyway. You're disgusting. And Rich. Oh no. Oh. Come on, girls. Shame on you. Aw, poor Jimmy. Well, that wasn't exactly how I was picturing him telling them the truth, but because that, yeah. I thought he was going to sit down with them, you know, and tell them the truth that way. But maybe they wouldn't have believed him if he did it that way. She'll go back on the settlement. I imagine you'll hear from her within an hour or so. Good. <laughs> well done in there. I meant every word I said. 
Jimmy always has to put on a show, doesn't he? Listen, I, um... Aw, really Francesca. Don't worry, Francesca. He hires you back. And, you know, if we ever get another office up, I, he'd be our first call. <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> he destroyed his house. What is he doing? Oh my god, Chuck. Jesus Christ. Lantern. Oh! His house isn't gonna burn down, is it? Oh god, is he gonna kick the lantern over? No. Chuck. Chuck? Oh my god, this is not... Is he gonna die? Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Okay, friends, that was the end of that episode. <sighs> you know, they really know how to raise your freaking blood pressure, you know, the last 30 seconds of a freaking episode. What the hell? I thought he was getting better. Well, he was. He was getting better. And then the thing with Howard happened. He never wanted the money. That's the thing. Like, he... He was calling his bluff and Howard didn't bluff. He would rather have paid him and spent his personal money than have Chuck working for HHM, which I still honestly don't understand the whole reason why. So if someone can explain that to me, please. Because yes, I understand with the insurance thing and I understand he was sometimes making some not so great decisions, but like, Howard, just before, he seemed so gung-ho on having Chuck come back to the office and get over what happened with Jimmy and you can beat this, you know, kind of attitude. And, and then he just switched. I don't know. I, I don't, unless I'm just missing something or if that's just it. The insurance was the last straw and then him just having some questionable decisions every once in a while. I don't know. I'm sure it's deeper than that. I just, but yeah, that's what, um, that's what threw Chuck over the, over the edge, I guess. Is, is that a sign? So it threw him over the edge. Um, because I think if he would have stayed at HHM, he would have been fine, honestly. I think he would have kept getting better. I think when Jimmy went to apologize to him, he would have been more receptive and open. And now that I've seen the whole episode, I do think he said that to Jimmy just because he wanted to make it easier on Jimmy for when he was out of his life. I don't know if at that point he was actually thinking of like doing what he did at the end of the episode. But I do think he was to the point where he was giving up and he was just retreating back into the shell that he was before with his condition. Um, and I think he wanted to make it easier on Jimmy to move on and just leave him alone um, and not be part of his life. So to me, I think that's why he said it. I could be totally wrong and he could really just be one of the biggest douchebags and honestly just had not cared about his brother that much, but I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. I think it's way more deep than that and way more complicated than that. Um, and I think that's what he was doing. I don't know if he was planning on, 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 I guess, committing suicide. That's what he's doing, right? With the lantern? Does he intend to die in the fire or is he just burning his house down? Because he looked not good. He looked like he was ready 
to end it at the end there. So, I don't know. Damn. Okay. The whole nacho thing, I was so scared that nacho was going to get killed by Hector or by somebody, one of the guys. But his plan worked. The pills took effect or didn't take effect. <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, it worked. Hector is now, I'm assuming, going to be in the wheelchair and be how he is in the future in Breaking Bad. <laughs> but you guys, I think Gus knows. He knows. He might not know exactly what Nacho did, but he knows he did something. He definitely knows. The way he was looking at him, Gus knows. So, that leaves two questions. Is Gus going to be happy about what Nacho did? Or is he going to be not happy about what Nacho did? <laughs> Cause it could go either way. He could be happy that he um, took care of Nacho or took care of uh, Hector in that way for him. Cause it solves his problems too a lot, you know, not completely, but it helps solve his problems. Or he could see it as a betrayal, like, um, yeah, I don't like Hector, but you betrayed your boss. You betrayed, because he's the same, not the same, but he's in the same position as Hector was with his guys. So he might think of it as like, no, that's like one of my guys betraying me, kind of thing. And he could be very unhappy with Nacho, so I don't know how that is going to go. Man, I cannot wait to start season four. Holy crud. I feel bad that Jimmy had to basically give up his relationship with the older people. They really liked him and I think they definitely brought him enjoyment for sure in his life. But I'm glad he did. I'm glad he told the truth. Poor Irene did not deserve at the end of her, you know, years to have her best friends turn against her and be alone. Can you imagine? That poor lady. So thank God Jimmy did the right thing. He did the right thing. He sacrificed his happiness um, and his reputation to help Irene, to put things back to how they should have been. So good job, Jimmy. Good job. Yeah, I think, I thought there was more stuff I wanted to talk about, but I can't think of it right now. Anyway. That's it. I'm going to leave you here. Um, please let me know your thoughts below about the episode. Um, and if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. Um, what else? What else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching with me. And I will see you for season four. So excited. All right, bye friends.